Jason, come on and follow me. We're going to interview a very special individual here who is also a descendant of the Trujillo family. And could you introduce yourself to us, I please? I am Helen Trujillo Workman Mora. Oh, Trujillo Workman. Right? Yes. Well, tell us a little bit about very important names. Well, that was my father's name, uh -huh. Workman. Uh -huh. Mora is my okay. maiden name, my married name. Mm -hmm. Trujillo was my mother's uh -huh. name. She was born in the Adobe, okay. and uh, she was the third one born in the Adobe. Okay. There was four children actually born there. It was Ted, Olive, Randolph, and my mother. And then after they kept having kids, they had to move to High Grove. <laughs> right? Well, well, tell us about this monument and what it means to you. Oh, after 40 some years and trying to work with my aunt with no, you know, computers weren't there, cell phones weren't there. It was a long, drawn out process. And we did what we could do, which was very slow. Okay. And I used to tell her, let's just buy the Adobe. And she says, well, honey, we're, you know, it costs a lot of money. And uh, eventually it was sold to somebody else. And then to the county, which, of course, I don't have to tell you, nothing was done for 40 some years, which really, actually, Suzanne Armas, my son David, my husband, Suzanne's husband, we finally went to, uh, the County Parks and Recreation and talked to Keith Heron at a meeting. And Jeannie Trujillo was uh, also. We wanted to know, what are they gonna do about the Adobe? All this history here. Mostly everybody has died that knew the history. And we want it known and we want it kept up. And it's deteriorating in all this weather and just dissolving before our eyes. So we asked him if he couldn't at least board it up to protect it, and that they did do that. But it is, it has been so many people that have passed on that worked on this, not just me. My Aunt Olive Trujillo helped with the book Defending Eden, and she helped, she worked here as director at the Awamanza Cemetery and she was very active in the community and had two restaurants. And she passed away and left me boxes and boxes of orig original documents, which I've been scanning. She has given four donations to the Riverside Museum, which was supposed to be a permanent display there, which they didn't do. And I have a huge donation she left me with original court papers about the Trujillo ditch, just all the original things and pictures of what she was working on. And she wants me to donate it to the Riverside Museum. But of course, they're going you know, through inventory, and that's going to take three years. And uh, I also have my grandpa Trujillo's rocking chair I have different artifacts also that I need to donate. And this, I know the heavens are smiling today with my mom, my Aunt Olive, and all our relatives that contributed to this. Uncle Dory, Salvador Alvarado, who is Napa La Placita. It's more than just us that are here today. These are people that have passed on, that worked very hard, and it was very slow writing letters, getting other cousins to donate what they knew. And I have all the letters between my Aunt Olive and Joyce Scott Vickery uh, concerning the Defending Eden book. I have letters from Clarence Trujillo from Washington. All the relatives have contributed to this and the book. So it isn't just us here today that have done this. It has taken many, many people that have passed on. So it really means a lot to us and to keep our ancestor and the Riverside history, which is pre-Riverside and pre-California history. 
and we can't let it go. We have to re-educate people as mostly everybody that knew the history has passed on, but it's very valuable and a documentary really needs to be done on it. Well, thank you so much for that very rich, rich history and the importance. As you can see, there is a lot of work to be done still in the city of Riverside and also with the history of Riverside. We hope to, that you'll join us next time on Good Neighbors. Again, you just saw a group of volunteers who have worked together to elevate the importance of Riverside and San Bernardino County history. We'll see you soon.